In this video we're going to discuss a differentiation technique called logarithmic differentiation. And the idea is here that um, we have a function that's kind of challenging to take the derivative of. There's a lot of maybe um, products or quotients or, or chain rule stuff going on. And it would be really ugly to do the derivative using those rules. So we could instead introduce logarithms into the equation. And then um, the derivatives will be easier to solve. Um, using derivatives of logs. So the steps are to one, take the natural log of both sides, and then we're going to use the laws of logarithms to simplify each side of the equation down to where we can then differentiate those things easily, and then we're going to um, solve for y prime. So here's an example of an equation that um, if we used some of our traditional de um, derivative rules, um, we have a quotient, we also have a product on top, we've got a chain both here and on the bottom. There's just a lot of rules that we would maybe get mixed up uh, as we try to, to take the derivative of that. So instead, what I'm going to do is take the natural log of both sides. And if we think about that, we have the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x to the 3 fourths times the square root of x squared plus 1 over 3x plus 2 to the fifth power. So what does that allow us to do? Well, on the right side of this equation, um, we can use our laws of logs to separate this out. So um, you should know that if you're multiplying inside of a log, you can separate that to addition. So I'm going to, on top, separate this out to the natural log of x to the 3 fourths plus the natural log of the square root of x squared plus 1. And then if you divide on the inside of a log, you change it to subtraction, right? So it's minus the natural log of 3x plus 2 to the fifth power. I'm going to go a little bit further here. There are some other things that you can do. And that is that we can bring the exponents down out front. So I would have 3 fourths the natural log of x plus 1 half, that's square root, um, as an exponent. So 1 half natural log of x squared plus 1 minus 5 times the natural log of 3x plus 2. And at that point, I'm going to go ahead and do the derivative. So when I do the derivative of each of these, the natural log of y, I have to, I have to remember that we're, we're doing derivative with respect to x. So this is where we need to think about like an implicit differentiation and what that means in terms of doing a natural log of y. Um, this is going to be y prime over y, right? It's 1 over y times the derivative of y. So that would be y prime over y. Natural log of x, if I do the derivative of that, I just get 1 over x. So this becomes 3 fourths times 1 over x, or 3 over 4x. Um, plus, we have 1 half. If I do the derivative of the natural log of x squared plus 1, that's um, x squared plus 1 on the bottom, and on top the derivative of that, 2x, minus 5 times natural log of 3x plus 2 would be 3 over 3x plus 2. Simplifying that a little bit, um, you know, we could, we could cancel the 2's here, um, this 2x with this. Um, I could go ahead and multiply that 5 up to there to make that a 15. So what I have here is um, y prime over y is equal to 3 over 4x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 minus 15 over 3x plus 2. Well, I still, on the left side of the equation, I have y prime over y. So I want to multiply by y to move that over. So I need to multiply this entire side by y. But I also don't want y in my final derivative here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and say, well, y is my original function, right? y is x to the 3 fourths uh, and so on. It's that original function. So my final answer is going to be that y prime is equal to 3 over 4x 
plus 1 over x squared plus 1 minus 15 over 3x plus 2. All of that times the original function y, which is x to the 3 fourths times the square root of x squared plus 1 over 3x plus 2 to the fifth power. And that is our derivative. And again, I know that there's a lot of steps there, but if you know the derivative of natural log, those individual steps are more uh, easy, they're easier to do than perhaps doing a quotient rule with products and chains involved and keeping track of making sure that you're doing all of those rules. Okay, so let's look at another example. This one's going to be a little bit quicker. Um, y, y equals x to the square root of x. Well, I couldn't really use the power rule here because this isn't just x to some power. Um, I've got a variable in the exponent as well. So I actually need to use logarithmic differentiation here. So I'm going to do natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x to the square root of x. So on this side, I can use my law of logarithm that allows me to bring that square root down, which means we have the square root of x times the natural log of x. And then I can go ahead and do the derivative. So I'll do that now. On the uh, left side of the equation, that's y prime over y. And on the right side, I'm going to do the product rule. So that would be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And then I would need to, at my last step, I need to multiply the y over. So I take all of that times y, which means that y prime is going to be um, the square root of x times 1 over x plus the natural log of x times 1 half x to the negative 1 half power. All of that multiplied by y, which is our original equation, which is x to the square root of x. Okay, so again, this is a technique. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes it just helps you to do the derivative a little bit uh, maybe more controlled in terms of not losing track of, of, of things and what and focusing on what rules you're, you're using to do the derivative. Um, it's much easier to just think about each one of those individually versus thinking about what rule are you using for the entire thing and keeping track of those terms.